So I'm gonna use a chord and arpeggiate the chord. Now let's hear what that sounds like. But some like crazy, trippy, fly low, weird beat scene type shit. What's up you guys, Nico Luminous here with another tutorial on the Arpeggiator in Ableton Dope MIDI Effect. Let's make some sick beats with it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscribers up so I can make more moves here on YouTube. So let's go now. Check what is good you guys. All right, we are inside the machine. It's time to do some arpeggiating. Let's just arpeggiate our little tushies off right now. Okay, so first thing you want is a MIDI track because this is you're using a MIDI controlled effect called the arpeggiator. So I'm going to take a sample and I like, I'm going to put it on a simpler first just to start. So I'm going to go instruments, simpler. I'm going to double click it, add it to that track and I'm going to go back to, this is from one of my sample packs, Ridiculous Drums, this nice little pluck. Let's turn that up. So I'm going to turn the volume up here on the volume. And I can even drag out, open up the release so it kind of has its own little pluck like natural release. Okay, cool. So now you're gonna go to MIDI effects, arpeggiator, see that? And you can just double click it. So now if I hold down, just say one note like C, you hear that? But say I hold down, I have my MIDI controller down here. Say I hold down like a C minor chord, just a three note triad. See how it plays them all? That's called an arpeggiate, arpeggiation. And you can also say, um, once again, you can't see my hand, but I can play it by hand. I can play it by hand. You know, but the arpeggiator does it for you. I can add four notes. So here we go. Let me add these four notes. Now here, the first important thing you want to change is the rate. that so let's change the rate back to eighth note because it does it in tempo and you can also take it off the tempo here with the sync button free but anyway let's go back to sync now I can shorten the gate oh actually what I'm gonna need to do I'm gonna need to shorten the release here but now if I open the gate see how the release is a little longer now here steps is octave so I can go up a couple octaves. Pretty rad, right? Now I can uh, say I'll go three octaves and I'll double up the speed. So here's my click track. And if I want to record a loop. So now I'll just loop that. I'm gonna make sure that loop is uh, perfect. Oh, those notes aren't perfect. So I can Command A to select them all and then Command U to quantize them. And then I'm just gonna take this bottom one and move it all the way. I'm using my arrow key a lot to move my MIDI note roll so you can have a note, move it with your arrow. So that's kind of weird. So let's redo it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go two octaves. I'm actually going to turn this filter off. I'm going to shorten that gate. So bring back the click track. Click track. Click track is up here. I have to add yeah, four notes because it's doing triplets. Two, three, four. So, so that's one cool thing you can do with the arpeggiator. Now let's change, actually let's duplicate that track. We're going to leave that one. Let's open up a new MIDI track and drag in a different, uh, different sample. So another cool thing you can do for like really trippy lo-fi um, crazy stuff I'm going to go to chords. I'm going to pick a chord. Here are these chords. So I'm going to use a chord and arpeggiate the chord. Now let's hear what that sounds like. Oops, wrong. I got to highlight this one. Oops. Got to raise my octave. Drop it. 
some like crazy trippy fly low weird beat scene type shit <laughs> So now, um, say I want to drag in a loop, like a drum loop. 120, I'm at 120. So I'm just playing a C minor chord, and then I'm playing a G minor chord. And it's arpeggiating the chord sample. Get it? So it has this crazy multi layered. So let's try that again. I'm just going to. I'm going to try to record something. Here we go. So that loop is a drum loop I have also from one of my upcoming sample packs called The Ridiculous Drums. I'm stoked on it, so that'll drop in the next couple weeks or so. But anyway, I'm just using the loop because it was right there. I keep all my loops, or all my samples in my browser so I can just grab them from here. Not only my stuff, but just all tons of stuff. So yeah, that's a pretty quick, simple way of just using the arpeggiator. Now let's actually shut off that one and let's use the other some uh, instrument that I had and just use the straight note actually let's just even alt drag and we don't even have to recreate it let's just hear what that sounds like mm. so now maybe let's try dropping the octave so I'm gonna collect command a select all I'm gonna hold the shift button use the arrow down it'll drop it an octave one more octave uh. Let's hear what these sound like together. It might be totally off. I'm just, this is, I'm winging it right now. So let's see how it goes. Kind of off and weird. Okay, cool. So now there's. I'm going to give you a bonus tip right now that just came to my mind before I end the tutorial. Let me get a sip here. Create a new MIDI track, Command Shift T. Boom. I'm going to go to my drums. I'm going to grab a hi hat. I'm sure you guys got hi hats. Okay. So now, and also if you're on the live suite, you can just hit the enter button when you have a sample highlighted. If, uh, if you have a MIDI track highlighted and a sample, just hit enter, boom, and check it out, pops it up in your sampler, really cool. Now let's put an arpeggiator on our hi-hat track and let's see what happens. Boom, 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 boom. I'm looking, for, oh, they're up there. MIDI effects, arpeggiator. So now look, if you just hold down the keyboard note, the MIDI note, it, it keeps it rolling for you, which is pretty sick. So now what you can do is like, you know, put a clip in there on a hi-hat and, and change the pattern of the hi-hat and even change the pitch to do those like trappy um, pitched rolled hi-hats. Here we go. So that obviously sounded weird because I did it live, but now turn on. Okay, so now what you can see here, I clicked the envelope. So down here, this little button's gonna show us how to automate certain things in the clip. So here's the arpeggiator, synced rate. So now I can change the rate that I, so I'm gonna hit B, which is also the pencil tool, this bad boy up here. So now, that's too fast, right? So I'm gonna kinda slow it down. Oh, 164, so it'll tell us. Let's do eighth notes. And we can also do, uh, triplets, 12th. So. Well, that's kind of trippy sounding. And then we're gonna go. And then maybe go down here to like a sick hi-hat roll. Let's hear the sounds. 
See how I did that? It's kind of weird, so we're going to back that up. When I click my clip here, shows my clip envelopes here, which I can automate. So CC, I have the arpeggiator highlighted. And now it has a red dot, meaning I automated something in the clip. And then what I can pick anything in the arpeggiator. So I'm picking the rate, which is the rate that the note is hitting. So. So now let's go back. Let's see to get back to edit my MIDI notes. I got to click off of here. Let's hit fold, which will make only those available. And uh, let's just add a note here. See now in this view, I can edit the MIDI note. And so I'm going to go back to here, which is going to my clips. Like for some of you guys, you're probably going to be like, you know exactly what I talk about. You're like, why do you keep repeating yourself? And then other people are like, oh my God, whoa, slow down. So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to do both here. So watch, I'm going to go, I can hear it in my head. So I'm going to take this note off. I'm going to turn the fold off. I'm going to go. I'm going to draw in these MIDI notes because I want it to transpose. If I was actually making a track, I'd put more time into it. But I'm just kind of doing this to illustrate for you guys. Okay, so now let's unsolo that. Now the thing is, is this this has some this loop, this drum loop that I used right here has some pretty like rolly hi hats in there already, so they kind of clash, but they're pretty straight. So I thought I could match them, but if I want to make that fit a little better, what I could do is go here, auto effects, hit an auto filter. Maybe pan it out. Now let's see how it fits. You got it. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty dope way to use arpeggiator. You saw me use it as the chord. Oops. And just to refresh your ear, I just used a chord sample. The chord sample sounds like this. Oops, got to hit my record arm. But then when I put it in arpeggiator, and if I play with the chord, so there you have it. And then the other one was just a straight pluck sound, a real clean sounding sample. Oops, I gotta turn the record arm. And so there you go, simple stuff. Hope you have fun. Try out the arpeggiator. Peace out. Oh, and I should clap. Hopefully that worked.